We're going to install IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition on a Mac running the latest version of macOS. We'll be using macOS 13 Ventura, but these instructions will work on any recent Mac you might have. Let's open a browser and search for JetBrains, the company that makes IntelliJ IDEA. In the results, let's click on Products, and let's scroll down until we see IntelliJ IDEA. And then we'll click on Download. There are two versions of the product, the Ultimate Edition, which costs money, and the Community Edition, which is free. Let's scroll down the page for just a moment and see some of the differences between the two versions. The biggest difference is the Community Edition lacks support for Java frameworks, such as Spring, Jakarta EE, as well as JavaScript frameworks, such as Angular, React, and Vue.js. Scrolling back up, we see the macOS download was already detected. My machine is running an M1 chip, so we'll want to get the disk image file, or DMG, for Apple Silicon. I'll speed up the video during the file download. Once the download is done, let's click on the link to see the SHA-256 checksum for our download. Here we see the SHA-256 checksum computed for the M1 DMG file by JetBrains and stored on their site. Let's compute the value locally using the file we just downloaded and the utility SHA sum. We'll open a terminal window and cd into the downloads directory and run ls to see the file we just downloaded. Now let's compute the checksum by running SHA sum a 256 and the name of the disk image file we just downloaded. We see the checksum computed locally. Let's compare that to the value on the JetBrain site. No need for a string comparison. We can do a quick visual comparison of the two values side by side. Looking at them, the remote and local values are the same, so we can be confident the download file was not corrupted and is unlikely to have been tampered with on the JetBrain site. Let's drag and drop the IntelliJ IDEA CE icon into the Applications folder in the Installation window. The file is copied into the Applications folder. In the Applications folder, let's scroll down until we see IntelliJ IDEA CE and click that. Our installation file is verified, and we get a dialog box asking us to confirm that we want to install a file downloaded from the internet. We do, so let's click Open. Let's confirm the license terms and click Continue. We won't send data. Then we get the splash screen and the welcome dialog. Let's make one small change to the theme. Let's select Customize and change from the Darkula theme to sync with the OS theme so it's easier to read. Let's verify our installation is working by creating a quick Hello World application. We'll select Projects, then New Project. We'll create a Java project using the IntelliJ build system and using version 11 of the JDK, which we have installed on this machine already. Let's give our project the name of Hello World and click Create. The main IDE window opens up. We're prompted to download pre-built shared indexes for the JDK. If your internet connection is slow, you might want to skip this. We'll select Always Download. In the project panel, we see a class called Main that was created for us. It's a simple class with a main method that prints Hello World. Let's click on the green arrow next to the method name and select Run Main Method. The code runs and we get our expected result, which is the message Hello World. At this point, we're all set. We downloaded IntelliJ, verified the file was not corrupt, installed it, made a customization, and built and ran a test application. Thanks for watching, and remember to always begin secure.